now we will be looking on the logistic management and the vaccine calculations and here it would be there, there would be some constants that we need to remember they are first is rested factor the rested factor for all the vaccines is 1.33 1.33 and the number of doses that we need to remember per vial so for one vial of measles it would be five doses for one vial of oral polio vaccine would be 20 doses and for rest of them it would be 10 doses now if we consider uh, vitamin a then it would be 100 doses now number of doses required would be penta would be 3 followed by dpt after penta would be 2 and if dpt are separately given that would be 5 opv are 5 bcg equals 1 and in pregnant woman that tt would be 2 so now we are given in the question the values would be mid year population the other value would be root birth rate the other thing would be infant mortality rate so out of this three values would be given in the question itself and now we will find the number of infants by using media population into root birth rate into 1 minus infant mortality rate now we remember that the root birth rate is equal to live births upon yes media population into 1000 so we can if we replace this then we have this one so 1000 into live birth into 1 minus IMR so these two are the formulas that you can use in, in, in any given conditions the second thing that we need for calculating the TT injections would be number of pregnant women because TT injections are given to the pregnant women for TT and that would be equal to media population into crude birth rate and after media population and crude birth rate we will need 10% pregnancy wastage to be added to this final result and this 10% would be the product of this so this way we will get the first the number of infants and second will be the number of pregnant women. Now our final formula would be number of vaccines that we need to calculate. The number of vaccines would be number of infants if we are calculating for BCG, OPV, measles. Penta or DPT. These two can be vice versa, either or. Into doses of vaccine required. We remember DPT 2 after Penta 3, and that would be 5, and BCG 1, OPV 5, Measles 2. Primary immunization measles will be one. Doses of the vaccine required into vestige factor. That is 1.33 and this is the constant. So once again, number of vaccines required will be number of infants or number of pregnant 
women into doses into wet rate factor. Now let's look out at the dropout calculation. It says dropout calculations. And here, for example, we'll solve this using an example. 100 child took pentavalent 1, 80 took pentavalent 2, and 70 took <coughs> Penta 3. Now calculating dropout ratio for Penta 2, then it would be Penta 1 given children minus Penta 2 received children upon Penta 1 received children into 100, and that would be around 20% from the above values. Now if we are asked to calculate the vaccine efficacy rate then the vaccine efficacy rate would be calculated as 1 minus relative risk and relative risk is equal to incidence in exposed upon incidence in unexposed and this both indices would be in the cohort study so from the cohort study we will find out the incidence in unexposed incidence and exposed then we will find out the relative risk and then we will use that to find out the vaccine efficacy rate right so that was all about vaccine calculation and dropout calculation